Hey, thanks for watching my videos. If you'd like to support what I do, you can always go over to Patreon. If you donate a dollar, that would help. Donate $5 a month and I'll promote your channel in my video. At the beginning of each video, I'll voice a promo telling people what kind of videos you have and where they can find your channel as well. Plus, I'll list your channel and my featured channels on each of my YouTube channels themselves, hopefully getting you some more exposure. Thanks again. Travel is still severely restricted statewide. Officials say there are still no reported casualties, which is truly unfortunate as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges and... Richard Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drug trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up with him. The thing about Mad Dog is, think about becoming a superstar. I mean, you know, I've done everything I can do in a rap game, but once shit hands down, nobody can handle me, you know? Lifetime champ, no shit. I say shit. Oh, hey man, it's cool. That's cool. Hey, no shit. I got clothes, I got labels coming out, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing drinks, I got shoes, tires, rims. Thinking, you know, next day should be a full-on superstar, you know? Get to wear a tight suit. They're a lot of tail, you dick. You know what I do in real life? You gotta get me a drink, though, right now. I'm thirsty, you know? What a troubled man. Sounds like he should lay off the sauce. Also today... <laughs> Only people holding a valid pilot's license may enter. You got scraps, huh? Cool it. In conservatives lecture, then stay tuned for I Say You Say. The future of America, threatened again. This time we need it. I'm Dr. Phillips. And I'm also Dr. Phillips. Today on the show, do cave paintings in museums make us violent? The anti-beef movement. Both Hitler and Mussolini were vegetarian. And we take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks. I'm going to hysterics in science class. Do you know what it's like growing up in a beaker? That's all today on I Say... <laughs> and this is I Say, You Say, where left is right and right is wrong. Or where east meets west and the west always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, that is Cher and Cher White? Not enough of a man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on the course of hydroponic form going to Cato? Or, kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor, as my wonderful wife said. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call, and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the boat. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I, I mean, how is that fair? I, I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite, um, you know, whatever that means. But people just respond badly to me. I, I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> no. Uh, I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sack. <laughs> Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. Uh
prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, <laughs> the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. The news, and all the other things that really matter to you, like people dying, a lady on fire, bodies everywhere, and explosions, she is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. You're good, but let's be honest, you're not perfect. And that's not American. We strive to be number one in everything. Sports, politics, economics, homelessness, degeneracy. Los Santos is the home of beauty and glamour for the whole world. Live up to society's expectations. Play your part. Your body is a work of art. Don't leave it half finished. It's time for your creative plastic surgery. We'll make your face as tight as a drum. We'll suck fat out of your body with an industrial pump. Increase your confidence with fake breasts to ensure people know what you're all about. More adventurous, wanna try an extra nose or three breasts? You know how much men like breasts. Can you imagine how wild they'll go for others? My wife was complaining that she did all the work. Carried the baby for nine months, had painful labor. It's not fair to her my nipples are useless. That's why I had creative plastic surgery. I got a set of udders installed. Now my son can suck my udders while I'm watching the game. The fellas at the bar love them too. Men never stared lasciviously at my ass. Then I had a tail attached. Now people can't stop looking. Beauty is not skin deep, it's less than that. Creative plastic surgery. Achieve your own utopia. Up next, it's Area 53 and Marvin Trill, broadcasting live from his trailer in the desert. A new planet found in space. Is it really a planet or a decoy put up to confuse us? Ghosts, time travel, and the flushing toilet. Which way did Newton's toilet spiral? And finally, are women made from sand? We explore deeper and get to the truth. I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. Hello. You're on the line. Yeah, hi. I'm a truck driver and listen to your show all the time. I see a lot of unexplained phenomena out there, especially in restaurants. I agree with you about the moon. We never landed on the moon. It's such a good fake. Remember, the Russians, our arch enemy still, I might add. Them and the Australians and uh, some species of dog. They beat us into space. The only thing the Russians are shooting into space are hot dogs and monkeys. 